some of you may know, some of you may not know, that Earth's Will is like the bad guy. And we're like doing Earth's Will's bad deeds because, man, this snail gets effed, bro. If you watch this, while you watch this, these snails are trying to turn a profit. And they're just not like allowed to turn a profit. My man is trying to steal money from Earth's Will as a business owner, right? As a business owner, he's just trying to make money right he's just trying to get rich just trying to live his best life earth's will is just like a mafia character in, in in this story and it's just constantly taking away his income and that's suspicious because there's been cir circumstances where where earth's will has definitely done some shady shit like look at look at, they burned the town down I, I never noticed that they burned the town down and they're having like a good time so they're not good guys either <laughs> it's kind of funny it's kind of funny when you think about it, when you think about what they're doing. So anyway, so I was able to do the rolls only on the last day. You can only do the red rolls, the red dice, which makes sense, right? Because it, it did tell you that you actually clicked on the red dice and you're like, why can't I do it? You click on the red dice. It tells you, hey, this is why you can't. You can only do it at the end of the day. Cool. You roll that. You get like extra bigger things. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me do something real quick. Let me pause this right here. So right here, this is something neat because when you first play the game, right, you get only three options to buy the 80, the 300 and the 500 in the first row. What I realized after we finally effing won a bid or two that the robots, the bots opened up. I was so excited. I was like, oh crap, I can get some robots. The problem is that they cost like 3,000, 2,000, 4,000. I wanna get those and I think, I believe they're gonna be there. This right here, I wanna, I wanna buy them. They work for you and, and they, you know, they excavate basically for you in that, in those realms, in the uh, portal. I, I don't know what it's called, right? But that's probably the the best prize. And there's a ring. I don't know if that's an Eye of Horus. If it is an Eye of Horus or if it's that demonic ring thing, I don't know what that is. There's some goodies in there, but you have to win and you have to then win certain amounts of bid in order to unlock them. Okay. So the next time you guys do this, like if you, if you guys didn't actually see this because your team is just really bad, really weak, it, it, it never got to win a single vote, whatever. You, you wouldn't have seen these because it wouldn't have opened them for you. Now, because we got lucky, I think everybody was putting all their chips into the centerpiece and, and slightly putting them off onto the side. What we ended up doing was I ended up flagging for my team the ones that were like closest to flipping, going from green to blue, then I flagged those. So my team was was voting on those and we, was, we were able to get those. But some of my other members weren't even doing any of that they just were doing what they wanted to do and that's fine i'm not going to tell you what to do or what not to do i'm not going to kick you out for that i i'm not going to punish you for being yourself who cares I, it's not whatever it's just a game some of some of the other players voted onto the side to the other sides and maybe two or three voted in the center which was just a total waste but it didn't matter because what we ended up getting was four of the outside ones and not the middle one at all because if you saw how many points you could they put in the center one i think i have it here if you see how many points they have it they have in the center one it was like all of them. everybody was fighting for the center one it was just it just made no sense whatsoever like look at this everybody put so many points onto the center one you saw that 1200 and change on the first on the top one we actually got all the points because we spread it out on the other ones. It was great. Here I'm just rolling once because I want to see what happens. Nothing crazy happens. You just get rewards. This is what lets me think that we're going to have this event come back. Things like this, achievements like this, these grids still, still being, you know, those tiles still being green. It's coming back. This is 100% coming back. It's going to be really exciting. I'm actually... This is actually one of my favorite ones right now because it feels like an exploration that grows as the team, as your snail team grows. So if you're on it right now, if you're like in a club right now and you're starting your, your growth as these events are coming out, you're going to always be ahead of the next team unless obviously the next team's or clubs pay. He's a billionaire now. Look at him. He's so happy, Douglas. Yo, Doug. Dougie. Dougie, why they do you? Don't do, they do you so dirty, dog. The final step. Okay, there's a snitch here. Somebody dropped a dime on him because he never got an opportunity. Douglas never got an opportunity to get his final plan. I was excited for this. I was like, oh shit, what's he got? What's going to happen? Is Earth's will, you know, going to get punked or whatever? That's, that's so fucked up, man. You hate liars, but you wouldn't have known. How, how did, how did Earth's will know? Douglas was betrayed. I hope they add like a third chapter to this later on to find out who betrayed or chapter 10 or something like that who betrayed douglas because how did earth will know right how did how did he had a plan we were following his story 
he was cooking the books, right? He was showing profit, but not too much profit. He was pocketing some profit. Listen, don't hate the game, okay? Or, you know, hate the player, but who who snitched on this player? Somebody dropped a bomb, on, dropped a dime on Dougie here. Douglas was betrayed by one of his own hamsters. I bet he was betrayed. They need to follow up on this. That shit would be fucking awesome if they did that, dude. Like, if they did, like, a chapter 10 to, like, chapter 12, like, who did what? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe it could... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this event, bro. All I'm trying to say is I think our, our, our good friend Douglas was betrayed. And I really hope they follow back up on this because... This story could be really fun if they just keep adding more to this. Yo, there's some shenanigans going on here. Um, either way, you know, my my my, my imagination is running away wild with me, and uh, it, you know, that's 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 fun. That's that's how good of an event I think this was. If it ever gets boring at any time, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Look at what they're doing right now, and just know that they're at least constantly implementing stuff. So this could possibly grow this could this i listen i'm i'm not an advocate for the for the game company the, the the designers or anything like that i don't know them they don't know me i just know that that this hamster event has happened already and it wasn't like this it was just you dig and that's it but then they added this really nice story this little backstory about why the hamster is you know like why that you know the, the graph arrow is is through his freaking stomach that's awesome i think there's even more room obviously i just got sh i just shared with you guys i believe there's more to this story because somebody had to betrayed him guys let me know what you think did you guys enjoy this i enjoyed it i loved it i hope they build on it bro because look they're only on chapter two if you look at the bottom right there they're only on cha chapter two i think i've said enough the event was a success in my opinion i will see you guys on the next one okay Peace.